You are listening to Real Girl Talk Podcast Radio. I am your host, Sherry. Each one of these episodes will provide you an opportunity to recognize, develop, and achieve all God has for you, bringing you incredible guests, faith-filled messages that will motivate you to reboot, regroup, and reinvent yourself in faith, business, and lifestyle abundance. Now let's level up, ladies, and let's dive in. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the show. You're listening to Real Girl Talk Podcast Radio. And guys, I just want to tell you, after going through Thanksgiving and being in Florida and not having my family here for the first time, I had so much gratitude for so many things in my life. And one of them is definitely this podcast show. I have been doing this now for almost four years and I have the most loyal listeners. You guys tune into the show, you listen, you send me feedback and emails. And I love it when you guys take a screenshot and share them to your Instagram and Facebook stories and tag Real Girl Talk Podcast. It means so much to me because Someone may see that that has never heard of the show, never listened to the show, and they may listen to an episode that just fills them up, or it may touch them in something that they're going on in their, that's going on in their life right now. So thank you for that because that's what we're supposed to do, right? We're supposed to do things and share things and be there for other people, not just ourselves. And we're going through that month of Thanksgiving and gratitude. And I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know that for some of us, it's difficult because we've lost loved ones and we think we have to think back and we think we're so thankful for the life that we have right now. And we're thankful for, you know, overcoming and growing through all the tragedies and pain and challenges that we've been through. But it's also a time where we reflect on who's missing at the table, right? And who's missing in our life. And so for those of you that are missing someone this holiday, my heart goes out to you because I truly, truly understand what it means to go through every single holiday, feeling like there's always just something missing. And it's difficult, I know, but we have to be thankful and we have to be present and we have to focus on what we have in our lives right now, because we can't change anything that may have happened to us, but we can learn and we can grow through those challenges and the pain. And we can also reach out to someone else and help them. And it brings me to what we're going to talk about today, because I have been off for a couple of weeks. I battled bronchitis. And then of course we went through the Thanksgiving holiday last week And I want to tell you one thing that I researched, studied, and I listened to a sermon that was incredible about focus. And so I turned this episode into focus on your five. And I'll tell you what that means, because I'm going to give you a little life hack right now. You need to stop having an opinion about everything. I want you to start focusing on what really matters. We we tend to really have an opinion on everything. And most of those things, we really don't have any skill or expertise. We just have an opinion. And sometimes those opinions can turn into arguments. They can turn into resentment and frustration. And so what I want you to do is I want you to kind of leave all of that behind. This is my number one life hack for you going forward in 2024, but you can start right now, is that stop having an opinion about everything. And I want you to focus on what matters. So what is important to you? Think about that. If you're driving in your car, you're sitting cozy on the sofa, maybe you have your headphones on in your cleaning house, whatever you're doing in the gym, listening to this show, I want you to truly think about what is important to you. What are your top fives? I'm going to ask you right now, somebody walked up to you wherever you are and said, what is the five most important things in your life? What would you say? I want you to grab a pen and paper. And if you're driving or you're at the gym, you can do this later. You can replay this episode. But I do want you to sit down with a pen and paper when you get a chance. You can use a journal. You can uh, keep it the one that you use in your Bible, the one that you have on your nightstand. Um, If you don't have a journal, I suggest that you get one, even if it's a blank notebook. 
uh, because it's super important that you start writing down things that you hear and you think about because those can turn into really creative dreams and desires, right? So I want you to always be able to keep a journal with you. So you can keep the journal in your Bible, on your nightstand, keep it in your briefcase, just keep it handy somewhere, maybe on your desk at work or at home, but always keep that journal. And I want you to use that. I want you to use that today. And I want you to write down your top five of what's important to you. Okay. Because it could be growing in your faith. It could be family. It could be kids. It could be your business or starting a business that's important to you. It could be starting a podcast, writing a book, going to school. Something important could be running for office right? You may be totally into politics, but it could just be about changing your community, getting involved in your church, maybe starting a Bible group or a master class of something that you have an amazing skill set in. Whatever it is, I want you to write down your top fives. And when you do that, I want you to focus on that because our opinion about everything else really doesn't matter at the end of the day. I want you to focus on your top fives and I want you to grow in the top fives that you chose. Because I'm going to tell you when we do not have direction, a lot of times it's a killer of our dreams. Negativity that comes into our head, killer of our dreams. Where does the enemy try to attack us? Tries to attack us in our mind. Anytime we're on a positive road or we're on a path of prosperity and we see doors opening, what happens? What happens? The enemy comes and sometimes it's through other people, could be coworkers, friends, family, strangers. The enemy comes and attacks us with negativity in our mind because the last thing that he wants you to do is be happy. You know, the Bible talks about him prowling around like a roaring lion, ready to pounce on anyone that is growing in their faith someone that is trying to follow their dreams, someone that's following God's direction. So you have to always be aware of your surroundings and who that you keep around you because the enemy can attack us and destroy the top fives that you're focusing on, that you're writing down today. So I want you to dream big. I want you to think about the things that you haven't accomplished that you want to accomplish. You can tell it, but listen, I'm going to tell you, don't tell it to a small-minded person. Again, killer of your dreams. God has shown you some amazing stuff in your life. You took it to some of your friends and family and they shot it down. Some of you are thinking right now, oh my gosh, that's exactly what happened to me when I brought them this idea of joining a a multi-level marketing company or selling online or starting a brick and mortar or writing a book or going to school What or quitting my job and starting another job. You brought that to small-minded people. Small-minded people are killer of your dreams. You know why they shot it down? I'm going to tell you, it's because they couldn't see it. You know why they couldn't see it? Because God didn't show it to them. He showed it to you. Start that online business, ladies. Take that online course. Write the book. Sell those products. Sell that service that you're dreaming about. Start your ministry if you want to. Study your skill set. I want you to go to church, join a group. You could join online. You could join in person. What is pressing on your heart today that you are so worried about what other people might think that you just don't do it? That's not important. What other people think about what you're doing is not important. Remember, small-minded people are killer of your dreams. So you want to surround yourself with people that are like-minded people that support your dreams, right? And I'm not saying that, hey, get rid of your husband right now if he doesn't support your dreams. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you want to keep your circle tight because we are the sum of the five people that we keep around most in our life. Remember that. And you have to commit to being a doer. Commit to being a doer Focus on your top five. This is a really short episode today coming off a week of Thanksgiving and gratitude. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I have done exactly that. The opinion that I have about everything in life 
really doesn't matter. And my goal for 2024 is open door, which means in order to do that, I have to focus, I have to narrow it down on my top five. Remember, I don't tell you anything or share anybody as a guest with you unless I really support what they're saying. And I know they can educate me, they can educate you. And I promise that for you in 2024, I have people all the time. I have agents, I'll just tell you all the time that pitch their clients to me to be on Real Girl Talk podcast. And when I first started this show, it was important to bring as many guests on as possible because I wanted to share with you guys different cultures and different ideas and different women in life that have accomplished. But what I found was some of the guests, I didn't agree with the direction that they had gone in life, right? Because you know, my opinion is strong in faith. I am a doer and I'm a believer in God's direction. The first thing I do every morning with my coffee is feel myself spiritually. And you guys, I'm telling you, if you are not waking up Every morning, even if it's for 10 minutes, I spend 45, but if it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it is that you have in the morning, and if you don't have enough time, wake up that 10, 15, 20 minute, whatever time you want to earlier, because it it has changed my life drastically to be able to wake up every morning, fix a cup of coffee, sit down in quiet and really focus on God's direction. I will listen to an inspirational podcast like Real Girl Talk. I would listen to someone else's podcast that is similar to mine or maybe a strong ministry. I listen for something to fill me up spiritually. And if you don't have a Bible app um, on your phone, I suggest that you get one. My husband and I both have one and it literally reads the Bible to you. I know some of us learn by reading. Some of us are visual learners. Some of us uh, listen um, audibly or we want to hear and see at the same time. However it is that you learn and you absorb the most, that's what I want you to do. And I think that's why podcast has become so popular over the years because people have such limited time. And a lot of times you can focus when you're hearing it. And so I hope that what I shared with you today about focus on your top five, I hope that it's something that you really take seriously and you take the time and maybe that's your morning time tomorrow. Maybe that's what you do. Maybe you stop today and you get that journal, you get that book. You know, I have a gratitude journal on Amazon. I'm going to go back and put it in the show notes under the description. It's a gratitude journal that you can just write away in. And it's really important that you have something like that because I want you to start writing down, even if it's just a little bit. I keep a separate book right near my Bible that's um, on my little tray on my sofa. I keep it there so I can grab it anytime. I keep it there if I'm watching something on the television. Maybe it's my Sunday morning service um, because I didn't go to church and I watched it online and they say something that just captures my attention and I jot it down or I'll jot down the verse for that day so I can go back and listen. Whatever it is, I want you to grab a journal if you don't have one, order it on Amazon. You can go back to the show notes and grab it. It'll take you right there. And I want you to focus on your top five, write that down first, and then use that journal to write down your thoughts, your dreams, things that you want to do. Because I'm telling you, in order to commit to being a doer, you have to focus. And remember to not share everything with small-minded people because they will be a killer of your dreams. And if you've done that before, you probably already learned your lesson on that. Commit to being a doer. Now, I would love for you to share this podcast with somebody because somebody you never know who you could help that needs to hear this. They need to hear it in their heart, in their spirit today. Remember, fill yourself up every day. Fill up your spirit-filled tank every single day so you have the strength and ask for God's protection before you go out in the day. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day.